In this example, we will be demonstrating Canvas Spotlight's redaction report capability. In order to generate a redaction report, we come up to our tools menu. And you see at the top we have two options. The first is called generate report for the current video. This will generate a redaction report for the current video that we're working on in Spotlight. And then the second option is called generate all reports for the entire project. So if we have multiple videos in our project, it will generate a single report for every single video. So you have the ability to create individual reports for each video or to create a single report for every single video in your project. Uh, in our example, we only have uh, a single video in our project, so we'll, we'll uh, use, utilize the first option. And now what will be included in that report will be any, uh, uh, any products that we've generated from this video. So we see here in our products list that we've created a redacted video and three redacted snapshots. And so those four products will be included in the report that we generate now. We'll go ahead, click on that option. Uh, we'll write over this existing report we already have. We'll specify that save location. And now it generates our report, it includes our name, uh, or organization name, which we can configure in the tools options report section of the application. Uh, it gives the date and time that the report was generated, shows the version of the software that was used, the, my username, uh, my computer name, and then it shows uh, our original video, uh, information about the original video, uh, metadata, general metadata, video metadata, and audio metadata for original file. And then we have our first redacted video. It shows the save location in our project for that file, uh, some general metadata about uh, that file. And then it shows uh, this, uh, this layer here that we have called clerk. It has all the information, all the timestamps uh, for where um, this layer was added to our video um, and what type of object it was, et cetera. And it lists out if we had any background layers or audio layers, those would also be listed as well as the timestamps. Then we come down to our snapshots. And again, we see the save location for our snapshot, MV5 values. And again, we have all the information pertaining to the different layers that have been added. And it's the same for all the subsequent uh, snapshot, uh, redacted snapshots that are in this project. So we see it's very simple and easy to create a redaction report, and that redaction report captures uh, everything that has been done uh, in the redacted videos or redacted snapshots that we've created, uh, where uh, objects have been redacted, and at what points they've been redacted in the video, and how they've been redacted.